So barn door versus tailgate, which is the best option? That's the big question. Let's find out. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Sam here from High Life Campers. Now, I recently ran a survey on our YouTube channel uh, asking you guys what um, topics you would like me to cover in future videos. And the topic that got the most votes was barn door versus tailgate and which is best for a VW camper. Now we do get quite a few people telling us that they do prefer the tailgate model of the transporter uh, and just like everything with VW campers it really does boil down to personal taste and personal preference but also how you're actually going to be using your camper and what things are important to you in terms of practicality as well. So what I'm going to do in this video is talk through the differences between barn door and tailgate and also what the pros and cons are to both of those options. Now before I go through the pros and cons, I think it's worth mentioning that I believe that a lot of people that do prefer tailgates is really down to the aesthetics and the way that the van looks as opposed to the practical reasons. And I think this really stems back to the kind of VW camper heritage from the 50s and the kind of association with that kind of surfer scene. So if you prefer the tailgate model purely based on the way that it looks, then you've probably already made your mind up that you've got to have a tailgate van. But I think it's still going to be worth you watching this video until the end because I'm going to run through all the pros and cons so that you can actually make an informed decision. So the first pro of a tailgate van, if this is important to you, is the look of the van. Now the back end of a tailgate van does look a little bit different from the barn door model. It gives it a slightly different line and a slightly different look from behind and also from the side. So from an aesthetic point of view and a style point of view, if, if you prefer that look, then of course having a tailgate van is going to be the best option for you. But that really is down to looks rather than practical reasons. And as I said, a lot of people that we've spoken to over the last few years do seem to prefer the tailgate model. And that probably could be just down to the fact that they've seen other people with tailgate vans or they've seen youtubers with tailgates and they've kind of got fixated on that look and i really do think that most people do like tailgate based on the looks rather than the practical benefits now pro number two with tailgate is something that we do hear quite a lot from people and this is a very valid reason to have a tailgate and that is that once your tailgate is actually lifted up you've actually got a shelter you've got like a ledge at the back of the van that you can stand under so if it's throwing it down with rain and you're trying to get something out the back of your van you could open the tailgate up and you've essentially got a little lid a little roof there to stay out of the rain uh, while you get things out of the back of the van and of course this is a plus point to having a tailgate if you think that's going to be important but in reality most of the time you're not going to be spending half an hour trying to get things out the back of the van you've only got so much space at the back of the van so it's not going to take you too long to get what you need so the benefit of having that kind of shelter from the rain is quite limited but it's something that a lot of people do want and you can also get little awnings that attach to the tailgate to sort of provide a little space for a shower or somewhere to get changed and things like that so that is a practical pro to having a tailgate van as opposed to a barn door van now the third pro to a tailgate van is something that's only really going to be important to you if you are planning to take away more than two bikes uh, on your trips. So if you are a family of four, maybe you've got a bike each yourself and you've got a couple of kids with bikes and you want to be able to store them on the outside of the van, then having a tailgate is going to be a big plus point because you can actually get a bike rack for the back of a tailgate which will take four bikes. There are rails that will hold two bikes on barn doors and you can also open the barn doors while the bikes are on. But if you are intending to take four bikes away with you on your trips, then there isn't a solution for barn doors. So you would need to have a tailgate door uh, in order to be able to do that. So that's something that will be a deal breaker for you if you are intending to take four bikes away. If you're not gonna be doing that, then it really doesn't matter if you have a barn door or a tailgate version. Okay, so what I'll do now is just run through the three cons of the tailgate version, just so you can compare. Now the first con of a tailgate model really is down to how heavy the door is. So if you are quite a small person and you don't have much strength in your upper body, then actually opening a tailgate and actually lifting it up is quite difficult to do. Now they do actually have gas struts on the door to help uh, lift it up, but it is still quite a struggle, especially if you're quite short, uh, to actually lift that door up. It's a really, really heavy door. And for some people this really is a deal breaker because it can be quite hard and quite cumbersome to actually open the door and get it pulled right up. So if you are quite a small person and you don't have a huge amount of upper body strength, then a barn door model might be a better option for you. Now the second con to a tailgate model, and I think this is probably the biggest hindrance to most people and one of the biggest reasons why people opt for a barn door model, and that is down to the amount of space that you've got to open the door. Okay, so if you reverse your van right up to a wall or if you're in a car park and you've got cars parking right close to you, directly behind you, so you might get back to your van and realise that you haven't got enough space at the back of the van to open the tailgate because the car's parked too closely or you're too close to a wall which then means you've got to drive forward quite a bit to actually give yourself enough room to open the tailgate. So this can actually be quite a big hindrance if you are going to be parking in you know, busy car parks or supermarkets or, or even campsites where you've only got limited amounts of room. So from a practical point of view, you don't have that much space to open the tailgate 
uh, especially in really busy places. So like I say, that's one of the biggest hindrances and one of the biggest reasons why most people go for barn doors and why I actually prefer barn doors uh, from a day-to-day -day practical point of view. Okay, so the third con with tailgates, and from my own personal point of view, I feel this is the biggest problem with tailgates, and that is the real lack of availability of vans with tailgates out there. And that really boils down to the fact that they are really popular. A lot of people really do like the tailgate. So as soon as they become available, they do get bought quite quickly. So from my point of view, when I'm going out to buy vans that we can convert into campers, I really struggle to find the right kind of spec vans with the right mileage and the right color also with a tailgate. So if we decided that we only wanted to convert tailgate vans, we'd have a real issue with stock and trying to find vans because there just aren't as many tailgate vans out there compared to barn door. And if you are quite specific about what you're looking for with a camper, and if you've been going down the VW camper rabbit hole for a while, you've probably started to realize that there are certain things that certain boxes that you want ticking. Things like the model of the van, like a Highline, you might want a very specific color, you might want kind of low mileage. And if you want all these boxes ticking and you also want a tailgate, that's gonna make it much harder to find a base vehicle to get converted. But you're also gonna find it much harder to find the right spec of, of completed camper. Uh, with a tailgate because the simple fact is there just aren't as many of them around so this is something that we tell all of our customers is that not to get too fixated on the tailgate side of things because that's going to really restrict uh, their choice when it comes to campers and vans and it's why we also do have a lot of barn door vans coming through because we're able to find the right spec of van uh, with barn doors and to be honest once it's had a camper conversion and we've done all the modifications to the outside of the van it really doesn't make much difference to the look of it at all but it is going to give you a lot more choice if you are open to having a barn door van and the other thing of course is because there's a high demand for tailgate vans and there's a lack of them out there they do tend to sell for quite a bit more money so if you find a camper or a van that ticks all the boxes it's the right model it's the right color the right mileage and everything else and it's also got a tailgate you are going to pay a bit more money for that van than you would do if it was a barn door version so that is something that you do have to consider from a financial point of view and of course we have to charge a little bit more for tailgate vans because we've had to pay more for the van in the first place okay so let's now move on to the pros and cons of a barn door model so the first pro to barn door is the opposite of what I said about the tailgate, and that is that the doors are much easier to open. So again, if you are a smaller person without a huge amount of upper body strength, then opening a barn door is so much easier. It's just a case of lifting the handle and pulling it and the door opens. It's so much easier to open a barn door than it is a tailgate. So from a practical point of view, that is really important to a lot of people that they can just easily open the doors really quickly. They can just grab what they want out of the back of the van and just easily shut the doors. It's so much easier than tailgate. So that's a really important practical reason to consider when you are working out whether to have tailgate or barn door. And the second pro to barn door, which is again the opposite of um, tailgate, and that is that you can park much closer to things. You can reverse right up to walls much closer and also to other vehicles and still be able to open the doors. Whereas with the tailgate, you need a lot more space. So the barn door model is a lot more practical on a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to parking and being in you know, busy campsites and things like that. You're gonna be able to open the doors much easier without having to maneuver the van and move the van forward uh, just to have enough space to open it. So that's a really, really big plus point uh, of a barn door. And then pro number three with barn door is going back to what I just covered on tailgate. And that is because there are more barn door vans available, they don't cost as much money. Okay, so if you are looking to buy a base vehicle to take it to a, a conversion company to get converted and you are looking for the right base van, you're going to work out very quickly that you're going to find a lot more barn door uh, models than you are tailgates. And because of that, the barn door model van is going to cost you quite a bit less money uh, than a tailgate. And that really is down to supply and demand and the fact that people just charge more for tailgate vans. So again, that is a really big plus point if you are on a budget and you're not too bothered about the actual aesthetic and the actual look of a tailgate. Uh, and you just want to get the right base vehicle. So the cost and availability, it really is something to be considered when you are trying to make this choice. Okay, so moving on to the cons of barn door. So the first con of a barn door really is, again, going back to uh, the opposite of the tailgate. And that is that you might not like the look of a barn door van compared to a tailgate. And really, this is aesthetics. It really is down to design. It's down to personal preference. And there really is no right or wrong. You either like barn door vans or you like tailgate, or you're just not bothered either way. But as I said before, once we have put a camper conversion on a van and it's got all the exterior mods and the wheels and everything on it, it really doesn't make that much difference to the look of the van. And I actually think I prefer the look of a barn door van from the rear. I think it looks better from behind than a tailgate, but that is really down to personal preference. But if you've made your mind up that you do prefer tailgates, then of course that's absolutely fine, but just know that you are probably gonna to struggle to find the right van with a tailgate, and you are gonna pay a bit more money for it once you do find one. Now, con number two with barn doors, again, is the opposite of the tailgate, and that is that you don't have a door like a shelter to stand under in the rain and have a cup of coffee, or uh, you know get things out of your van without getting wet. So if that is important to you, and you think from 
from a practical kind of everyday point of view that um, having that shelter there is really important then of course you do need to go for the tailgate version because you don't have any overhead shelter with a barn door you've only got the doors at the side of you which you can actually get a canopy to put round and you can actually get a canopy that will give you a little roof area uh, for showering and things like that so it's not the end of the world by not having that boot for shelter uh, but again if it's important for you then you do need to go for a tailgate because a barn door just can't give you that solution now the third contour barn door again is the opposite to the tailgate and that is that if you want to go away with more than two bikes there isn't a rack on the market that I know of where you can get four bikes attached to the barn door. There is one for the tailgate, but there isn't one for the barn door model. But there are plenty of bike racks that will hold two bikes on barn door. Uh, and there is a solution where you can actually open the barn door still, even with the bikes attached to it. So if you do go for a barn door and you've got more than two bikes, you're either going to have to put two bikes in the van or you're going to have to tow a little trailer or something where you can put the bikes in. So again, that really only applies to you if you are a family that's going to be taking more than two bikes away. If you're not, then it really doesn't matter. It's not going to be a problem for you. Okay, so as you can see, the pros and cons are kind of reversed with each option, but it really does boil down to which one you prefer the look of and which kind of practical everyday features are the most important to you uh, when it comes to a VW camper. But the one piece of advice I want to leave with you, and this is based on my experience of buying vans and selling campers over the last few years, is that the more specific you are about the actual base vehicle that you want and also the spec of the camper conversion, the harder it's going to be for you to find the right van or the right camper. Because of course the more specific you are and the more boxes you want tick in, the harder it's going to be to find uh, the right vehicle because there's just going to be less of them out there and because of that you're also going to pay more money so if your budget is under forty thousand pounds you are going to have to make sacrifices along the way and that will probably be the amount of mileage on the van but also things like the tailgate and the color of the van and other things so rather than actually writing down a list of things that you really want it's probably more productive to write down a list of things that are absolute deal breakers so if you know for a fact that you've got to have a tailgate van then at least you know that and you know what you're looking for or if you know for a fact that you do not want a red van then having that as a deal break is going to really help you when you come to look for a camper or a van. So my advice is try and be a little bit flexible on things that really aren't going to impact the use uh, and the everyday kind of um, practicality of the van. And at the end of the day the back door really doesn't make a huge difference to the looks or the practicality of the van. So I would really love to know what your thoughts are on barn door versus tailgate. Just put them in the comments below. Let us know which one you prefer and why you prefer it. And that's also going to really help other people that are watching the video. And if you like this type of content and you are in the market for a VW camper, just make sure that you do subscribe to our channel because I share regular bite-sized information videos covering everything to do with VW campers. Uh, and I also share walk-around videos of all the base vehicles that we're getting in stock. Uh, and all the completed campers that we've got available. So if you subscribe to our channel, you will get notified when we do a walk around of a new base vehicle. And if you get in early enough, you'll be able to spec out the van and really put your own stamp on it. And also any of the completed campers that we've got available. And if you've enjoyed this video and you've got value out of it, please do consider hitting that like button so that we can uh, help YouTube go and find more people to help with our channel. And I will see you in the next video. Speak soon.